What's up, everybody? You don't know where we are, do you? You don't even know what's happening this weekend. I know you don't know. Because if you knew, you would be where I'm at. Where we at, y'all? creative end, you don't want to have to think about boundary lines between municipalities. Right. You don't want to have to think about what agencies you need to get in touch with for what kinds of filming that you want to do. So we want to be that one-stop shop. A lot of people don't know what we do. And a lot of people think, get, are nervous like to call our office like we're going to be the police or something. We're actually there to actually make it easy for you. I'm a producer, writer, director, and I'll step in front. I, whatever it takes, I'll do it. But what's interesting, <laughs> that's right. I'm, I'm sure you all know this too. <laughs> Whatever it takes. As long as you stay consistent and you don't give up because you're like, damn, I ain't get those those followers or those likes or those right, right, comments. Right. Are you into what you're doing? Right. Do it. Just keep Does doing it give it. you something? Like you gotta, you kinda gotta gauge yourself as to what you want out of something. Yeah. If it's just money, then you're done already. All I need is one person. If yeah. one person is inspired by anything we say, I, it's to, we keep moving. That's all. We don't yeah. need a million. I just need one person. Mm -hmm. What I've learned that works for me for brand building and for doing anything, and I don't I think this could go for anything you want to do, um, is these two things. Polite persistence. How many options do you have in a dilemma? Listen to the word dilemma. How many options? Two options. But here's the tricky thing about it. An option between a good choice and a bad choice, that's not a dilemma. A dilemma is only a dilemma when it's a choice between bad and bad. I'm a Hollywood hyphenate. What does that mean? I'm a screenwriter by choice, a producer by necessity, and a director by self-defense. There's an emotion that is required for the audience to feel when they're watching a movie. They must feel this emotion towards the protagonist. And the emotion is empathy. That's why these kind of conferences are good, because you, in fact, have to keep up with what's going on. Whether you're just a writer, or a producer, a director, an actor, the more you know, the better off you are. Here to talk about your role, and Carter family reunion. So tell me, how was the experience? It was, uh, it was tough. The first day we shot, it was a caterpillar invasion. We're talking about millions of caterpillars. Always build on whatever you have. You know, you're gonna hear a thousand things that you can do, you know. Put it, you know, yeah, give us more episodes. Then it's gonna be give us more episodes. Then it's gonna be give us more episodes. Never gonna end. Then you'll hear, let's turn it into a movie. Let's turn it into a feature. Let's turn it into this. Money, money, money. But what you already have, the commodity that you, that, that you, the ownership that you have, to Nina's point, you already own this. We'd be honored to take a look at it because I've told Brian my goal at every festival is to, to create something from it. And this could be a perfect timing. Miami Web Fest doing it. It's very important that you own, or hopefully own, three things, okay? If you're the writer, that you own your publishing if you're not registered with a publisher or signed to a record label, and that you own your masters. But if you don't know who owns your masters, find out. If the producer owns your masters or your record label owns your masters, find out. Those three things, you should know who owns them. If you don't own all three, find out who owns them because these ladies right here are not going to touch you with a 10-foot pole unless you have all three under your control. My background is also very diverse. I'm fluent in Spanish, you know, I had a, a white stepfather, I, I you know, it, it, it's just so many things. I've lived overseas. So my perspective on, on diversity is kind of unique. All of us at every level, at the smaller levels, don't do enough to knock on the door, right? Not do enough to get to that door while it's still cracked open. And that starts by going in and just getting a, a different perspective of that voice in the writing, 
And then when you do your casting, really take time to do the casting. Don't always go for friends. Don't always go to people that you know. Put the work in. Cast, 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 cast. I'm sure that they thought that, you know, because she didn't personally appear in it and that they didn't use the song or the entire video, that they didn't have to get copyrighted, you know, the information copywritten or, or ask her permission on it. But they do, because anything that identifies you personally and then is used in a commercial fashion thereafter, you have to get licensed, right? And you have to pay for this. And so even the voice counts as something that identifies the person and, and is part of something that you have to get licensed correctly. And that's what happened with Gorilla Glue Girl. I closed the deal, like, and the guy actually told me, hey, this deal you're closing is like, we've never done this. I don't think we're never gonna do it if, I mean, it was just luck, I guess. It has been proved that SBOD is not for web series. AVOD is for web series. What about TVOD? Do you think that people will pay for your content? Like, when your, comp when your content is competing with other contents in the platform, will the people pay for your content? I don't think so. We're gonna go to the right, to the right, to the right, to the right, to the, right, to the left, left. Oh, so look at to the left, now kick, now kick, now kick, now kick, now, kick, now, kick, now, kick, now what? See, I knew you knew how to do it. Now we gotta turn it around. Now walk it by yourself. Left. <laughs>